Hey guys, and welcome to Cliff Notes, and welcome to night number 97 of the Overnight Feeds Recaps for Big Brother Season 25. 97. There's 99 nights in this season, so we are just about there. Not sure when they're going to cut the feeds down, but it could be at any moment. So yeah, we, we've got Thursday coming up on us quick. We'll find out who wins this season, who walks home with three quarters of a million dollars, but before we do that, we still have a little bit of conversations to talk about. Not a huge amount. This will be quick because there wasn't a whole lot being talked about uh, yesterday, but, but a little bit that we'll cover. Now, first of all, as, as a refresher, uh, keep in mind that we've got Matt having won part one of the HOH competition. So he's going to be advancing to the final competition on Thursday night against either Bowie Jane or Jag. They'll be competing in part two. The winner of that then faces off against Matt. The winner of that decides who they want to take to the final two and pitch against uh, to the jury. So uh, we're getting closer to that. I was thinking maybe they were going to have part two of the HOH competition yesterday. It doesn't appear that that was the case. So I think that'll be today. I, I really, I hope we find out who won it before the feeds cut away, but there's no certainty on that just yet. All right, let's talk about the conversations that were had yesterday. First of all, the feeds were down a lot yesterday for whatever reason. They, they shut down early in the morning. Shut down for four or five hours, didn't come back till two o'clock or so. I was thinking maybe we're having the, the reminiscing episode. Maybe we're having the uh, part two of the HOH competition. It doesn't appear that either one was the case. Not really sure what was going on, but we did lose feeds off and on uh, throughout the day uh, yesterday. Uh, so, so we missed out on some conversations with that. But really, at the end of the day, there's not a lot more strategy taking place. It's all about winning these last couple of competitions. That's what's important uh, at this point in time. When you only have three people, it's tough to talk strategy. All right, so I mentioned the feeds were down quite, quite a while, uh, and we don't know exactly when. Uh, we did have Jag and Bowie Jane talking yesterday, still trying to justify their decision from the night before to keep Matt to, I mean, it was Jag's decision, but certainly Bowie had some input as well. Still trying to justify that decision of keeping Matt, sending Felicia out the door. Uh, Jag saying it was the best decision at the time based on everything they had. And even if things change now, i.e. Matt winning part one of the HOH competition, that doesn't mean it wasn't a bad decision to make at the time. Uh, so they're kind of they're kind of recognizing that maybe keeping uh, Matt in the house, maybe not the greatest idea in the world. At one point during the day, Jag refers to Matt as Aquaman. And uh, I think realizing that Matt's a little bit a little bit more competitive uh, or a little bit more of a comp threat than Felicia may have been in, in some of these competitions. But they're still saying, hey, based on everything we had at the time, it was the right decision uh, to make. So they're talking about that. Uh, Bowie Jane's a little upset at one point because she suspects that Felicia walked out the door uh, with one of the decks of cards because they can't find it. And she's thinking that she took it with her. So I, I did she, did she, who, who cares? Yeah. You only got three days, guys. I think you'll be all right. You got another deck. We only got one deck of cards during my season. Anyway, I think you'll be all right. Uh, but they're talking about that. I actually think it'd be pretty funny if she walked out with the deck of cards. I know when I walked out of the house, I didn't take her deck of cards. I just took one card uh, from that deck of cards and I hit it. And I told him, I said, guys, you can't play a game until you look through this house and you find that deck of cards. Uh, just to make things fun on the way out the door. Uh, but she's thinking maybe Felicia took one of the deck of cards uh, out with her. Uh, Bowie Jane is laughing. They're, they're still talking about Felicia. Felicia's God. It's done. Uh, but Bowie Jane's laughing about Felicia wanting a final three uh, with Jag and Matt and wondering why she ever thought that was a possibility. Hey, I, I would have been pitching the same thing if I was Felicia. But Bowie Jane's kind of thinking that was a little incredulous that that Felicia thought she could get a, a final three right there at the end with the two of them. All right, we've got Jag and Matt talking. Jag is telling Matt, saying, just one more comp. We just have one more comp, and I don't think he's referring uh, to the final comp on Thursday night. I think he's referring to his comp against Bowie Jane. Just one more comp. I'll win that one, and then it's you and me. Jag very much putting forth the perception that as long as Matt and Jag get to the final two together, then they're golden. They'll both be pitching to the jury. Bowie Jane is done at that point in time. Letting Matt know that he's still solid with the bromance making it to the, to the very end. Well, of course Jag wants to do that. The worst thing possible would be for Matt to find out that Jag was willing to cut Matt at final four or is still willing to cut him now, at which point then 
would Matt still take Jag forward or not? I don't know, but Jag's not going to take the chances. So he's letting Matt, Matt know that uh, let me win mine and, and then we'll be perfect. We'll be good to go. All right. We've got Jag saying that uh, Cameron was talking, I think, to Bowie, Jane and Matt. He's talking about saying Cameron was Cameron was overrated as a comp threat. Uh, Bowie Jane is agreeing. Jag is saying, I beat him at a couple of head-to-head competitions. So, yeah, as much as we talk about Cameron being this big comp beast, he wasn't really. Oh, Jag just kind of letting these comp wins go to his head, isn't he? He uh, Now that he has the record, suddenly no one else that played this game was actually any kind of comp, comp beast at all. But you could have more than one uh, in a season. Uh, but he's kind of downplaying what Cameron did in this game so far. All right, we've got Matt and Jag and Bowie. Sitting around the tiny table, uh, talking about drinking adventures uh, when they go out to hang out and party and things like that. And I won't go into details, but just a lot of uh, how they have their fun and, and how drinking's involved and numbers and things like that. Uh, Matt's talking about breaking several records uh, while hung over uh, from, from a night uh, of partying beforehand. Props to you. It just makes me wonder, could you have broken the record a little bit more if you weren't hung over? But... Everyone live your own life. But he's talking about breaking several records while hungover. Uh, Matt is saying that he would be pretty good uh, on Survivor with with all the water challenges that take place in that game. I, I kind of think you're right, uh, Matt. That could that could be interesting to see how Matt would do on a on a game of Survivor. Uh, his social game, uh, his his comp ability. Uh, it'd be interesting to see. I think this is the point where Jag referred to him probably as Aquaman. And probably wonder what in the world were we thinking when we kept him on board. All right, we've got Bowie talking to Matt and Jag saying that uh, <laughs> she's saying, guys, is, do we need to go somewhere and talk about, do we need to go somewhere and strategize about who to get out next? Yeah, she's joking. Uh, they, they've run out of people to strategize against, uh, which makes for a, a slow day inside the Big Brother house, especially this season where it seems like these house guests didn't do anything except strategize. Uh, they just didn't. They, they don't seem like they had nearly as much fun this season in this house as other seasons have been. From the second people woke up, the second they went to bed, it was nothing but game talk in, in a lot of a lot of occasions. <laughs> but but now, no one left to strategize against at this point, Bowie Jane, except each other. And you aren't going to vocalize that at all. All right, the three of them. Now, now here's the other thing. They were talking to each other. And I think it's Bowie Jane who actually talked about people talking to the cameras and saying, yeah, people talk to the cameras. They're just show offs. So they, they don't have a lot of respect. Matt says, I didn't think you were allowed to to actually talk to the cameras. Uh, so they're they're kind of I don't know, they're kind of ragging on people who talk to the cameras. I talk to the cameras. I wish Jag would talk more to the cameras because I'd love to hear Jag's one on one with the viewing public about which way he's leaning in terms of keeping Matt or keeping Bowie Jane, because he's not going to vocalize it in front of these two. Uh, so, yeah, I wish we had just a little bit more camera talk at this point in time. But whatever. I like camera talkers. I don't care what you think, Bowie Jane. I, we aren't show-offs. We just love the viewers. We love the live feeders out there. All right. They, uh, they're they talking about uh, strategizing. Jag is saying, we've accomplished everything that we set out to do. Now what? Well, I think the same thing. Let's just bring on Thursday. The quicker, the better. There's not a lot more to be done at this point in time. Let's finish up the season. Who walks away with that check? Uh, the three of them are talking about past evictions, America, Blue, a lot of talk about Sari and, and when she got sent out of the door, just rehashing as they tend to do. Uh, so we've got that. Uh, Matt gave Bowie Jane uh, for a little while, little 10-second summaries of each house guest. Uh, he was on top of it. He actually had a lot of comments. And I'm not going to go through all of them because it'd take forever. But uh, some of the comments Matt had uh, just examples of the way he was talking about these. Uh, he was saying, uh, Riley danced around everywhere. Blue followed Jared everywhere. Then followed Jag and Matt everywhere. Red always made delicious treats. Nicole walked around with hoodie and sunglasses, hid food in the containers, goes back to scramble, goes back to bed for a nap, never talked to anyone until the very end when she said random stuff uh, as she walked out the door. So he just had a little 10 second summary on each of them. And it was pretty good. I don't, he, he had it all figured out. I, I think he was spot on with a lot of them. All right. We've got Bowie Jane talking about a big party today, tonight. I think she's assuming once the HOH part two comp is over, everyone's going to be able to just take a big breath. At that point in time, there's no more count comps to be had until Thursday. So she's looking forward to a little bit of a party uh, situation, a little party celebration. Jag at one point says, yeah, you know what? We evicted everyone from this house who was taking more than their fair share of alcohol. 
So, so now we know the motivation and and the boot orders, what what it was based on, right? Yeah, now nah, they're 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 just having fun. They're thinking ahead to when they can get this last little bit of stress off their head, or some stress. The, the final stress isn't going to be till after Thursday. All right, they're giving Matt a hard time. Uh, saying that he gets to chill until Thursday night since he won part one of the competition, whereas Jag and Bowie Jane still have to worry about part two and what's going to happen and focus on it and stay stay in the stay in the zone for it and all. And Matt can just chill until Thursday. That's what you get when you win the first part. Uh, hey, if Felicia was still in the house, Matt uh, Jag or Bowie Jane probably would be getting to uh, to chill right now. All right. Speaking of Felicia, we didn't have a Felicia in the house. No one to cook dinner. How are these guys going to survive? Matt, once again, makes a reference to, ah, oh, we kept Felicia as long as we did because she was such a good cook and all that. He, he said it uh, jokingly somewhat, but he, you know what? There is a strategy to, to being a real benefit in that house, something that you do, and people maybe do keep you just a little bit longer. Uh, I certainly would be very appreciative of everything Felicia did in terms of cooking. Uh, while she was in there. And I think they are uh, as well. Uh, but Felicia has gone. So they end up fixing a dinner of, of chicken and quesadillas. Uh, all three of them looking over the stove, trying to figure out how to check, uh, check that chicken, a uh, chicken check and uh mad uh, chicken chick shack. I don't know, sounds like a restaurant name. Anyway, they're checking the chicken. Uh, Matt saying, I'd rather have it uh, very dry and very bouncy before getting a case of salmonella in the last couple of days, which is a valid concern when you have these three uh, cooking a meal. But between the three of them, they got the chicken cooked, the quesadilla. Uh, hopefully they'll they'll make it to the end of the uh, the season without having to call in EMS at any point in time. But they did have the dinner without Felicia. I think they appreciate Felicia just a little bit more right now. All right, Matt's talking about all the ice cream uh, that's left in the house. Say he has about four gallons to eat over the next four days. So while Jag and Bowie Jane are a little stressed out about the final comp, that's going to be loading up on the, on the ice cream. Hey, enjoy it. Yeah, you got 95 days under your belt or whatever, or 96, 97. Enjoy it, Matt. All right, Matt's saying uh, they're talking about Corey in America a little bit. That's a little, little interesting conversation. Matt's talking about that Corey grew a mustache uh, to look older for America. He thought it would make him look older, so that's why he did it. Matt's also, <laughs> Matt's also suggesting that Come finale night on Thursday, he's expecting something wild to happen. Well, I think the wild's going to be them finding out about Jared and Sari, but they don't know that yet. Matt's thinking that uh, come Thursday night, he's not going to be the least bit surprised if Corey ends up proposing marriage to America uh, because he is jealous about Matt getting a letter from Riley. And so in order to recapture some of the attention, uh, Corey's going to, to pro propose to America uh, to make up for not getting a, a letter uh, like Matt did. All right. First of all, I still think Matt's too focused on Riley. Uh, we'll see how Riley handles all this come Thursday night. We'll see how she handles it after the cameras are off uh, after Thursday. Uh, but I really don't think that Corey and America are sitting there in the jury house wondering what they can do to regain some of the the, the showman's attention away from from Matt now that he got an HOH letter from Riley. I, I'm not sure that's the way uh, their, their minds are thinking right now, Matt, but he's convinced that they're going to propose to each other just to take away some of the attention that Matt's getting uh, w with Riley. Yeah, I, I don't think it's as big a deal as you think it is, Matt, uh, but he does mention that. All right, we've got Bowie, and now here's something interesting. Bowie tells Jag at one point, they're walking upstairs, uh, and Bowie is telling Jag, good luck with your hamstring. Good luck tomorrow. And saying, break a leg and yeah, typical things and saying it half jokingly since they're competing against each other. But at one point she does tell Jag, good luck with your hamstring. So I don't know if he injured his leg, maybe in this part one of the HOH competition. Not really sure what's going on. It doesn't look like it's a major issue. He's not limping around that I could see or anything. Uh, but maybe he's got a little bit of an injury, which if it is a little bit of a skill agility type competition, it could impact Jag in terms of his ability to function. I have a feeling it won't, but uh, she does mention that. So we'll keep an eye out for that once we get to see the the, the part two of the HOH comp, which should probably be Thursday night. I don't think we'll see it before then. All right. We've got uh, Matt in bed getting ready to call it a night, reading his letter from, from Riley uh, once again. Oh, it's going to be interesting to see how these two interact after the season goes. 
Uh, we've got Jag and Bowie uh, in the scary room finishing up uh, their last one of their last nights inside the Big Brother house. So they're still in the scary room talking a little bit. Now, remember, Jag told Matt earlier, just one more competition, just one more comp and we're there, Matt. Well, he's now talking to Bowie Jane and saying, look, we've got one more chance to beat Matt. One more opportunity. If I can if I could beat Matt uh, or I mean, I, if I could. If, let me back that one more chance to beat Matt, regardless of who wins the next competition, whether it's Bowie, whether it's Jag, one of them's going to be facing off against Matt. It's uh, vital for the two of them and their final two that I don't know if they've ever had a spoken final two, but they're there, right? We can call it that. Uh, but he's saying we've got one more chance to beat him in the final competition on Thursday. And then it's just you and me uh, and, and we, we make something happen at that point in time. So obviously Jag trying to uh, make both of them think that they're his final two going into this in into this thing. If Jag wins the final Thursday night, he's going to have a hard decision. I, and I still do, I think he's going to cut Matt loose at that point in time, even though he didn't do it on Sunday. I think he'll do it at that time. But we won't know until Thursday and we may not know that he may not get the chance. There's a good chance that Matt could win this whole thing and he'll make the decision. And if that happens, I think he takes Jag, and I think Matt wins it all. All right, they're talking a little bit about uh, the competition that they expect to be doing against each other, what they've seen in the past. They're thinking speed, agility. They mentioned we haven't had an obstacle course yet, so maybe some kind of obstacle course, a mental competition. So basically everything except a physical endurance competition is on the board. We'll, we'll see what they end up doing. Uh, Jag is saying that Matt is not unbeatable, uh, that he has Matt beat Matt before in competitions, that he could beat him again. He just needs to make sure that he can face Matt. Bowie Jane says, I can beat Matt. If it's a mental competition, if it's a booth type competition, I'll beat Matt. Well, she's got to get past Jag first before she has that opportunity. And we don't know how that's going to go yet. Uh, she, Jag does say that if he loses tomorrow, game's over i'm not really sure what he means by that because theoretically if he loses tomorrow that today then that means that uh bowie jane has won and she can still beat matt uh, but jack's really feeling like it's it's more winning this part two that's the most important to him and i i understand what he's saying if jag does not win this part if Bowie Jane wins it instead, then that means that even if Jag goes to final two, which I think he th I think he will no matter what, Jag's going to get drug to final two. And whether he's competing against Bowie or Matt at that point in time, I think that's a hard pitch to the jury to say that Matt saved me when I got evicted. Now someone else drugged me to the final two. With those two things in place, it may, even with all the comp wins he has, it may make it tough to convince a jury. So, Jag very much feeling like he has to win today's competition to keep his resume intact. And with that, lights out by, by 11 o'clock or so, Big Brother time, 1 o'clock Houston time. I watched, stayed up a little bit longer to see if maybe someone's going to get up and do some extra celebrating or strategy. Nah, none of that. They just called it a night getting ready for today's competition. So there you have it, guys. I do expect we'll have part two today, and then we'll know who which two are going to face off on Thursday. Hopefully we find out before they shut off feeds, but there is a possibility that feeds are going to go away sometime today. If so, this could be the last overnight feed recaps for Cliff Notes of, of season 25. If so, guys, thank you so much for the support. I, I've enjoyed it. I have a blast doing this. It is a labor of love. Uh, I, I see I see a bed getting ready for a little hibernation after the season. But now, thank you so much. I've enjoyed the ride with y'all. Now I'm looking forward to the next season already. Guys, y'all have a great uh, Tuesday, right? Have a great Tuesday. If we still have feeds, I'll be back tomorrow to give y'all a recap of what happened. Until then, my friends, SKD 143. Cheers, my friends. Bye.